Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jordan United Church of Christ with me, your favorite pastor. December the 10th, the second Sunday of Advent, when our senior choir will present the Christmas cantata Morning Star by Joseph and Pamela Martin at both services. I want to share a little bit about that particular cantata. We'll see chrismons, which are Christ's monograms, placed on the tree that Sunday morning. The symbols, which include stars and angels, candles and shepherds, visually remind us of Christ's identity and his story. And we thank Roger Sinclair, part of our AV team, for making these beautiful, beautiful chrismons. In his religious travelogue of the Holy Land, British preacher and scholar Thomas Fuller wrote, it is always darkest just before the day, the day dawneth. So to fully understand the Christian observation of Advent, we must look back to the ancient cultures. The coming of winter, as we all know, meant darkness, hardship, and even death. As the days grew shorter and the nights grew longer, as we we're experiencing just now, people feared that the light would eventually disappear altogether, leaving them to face the bitter cold in utter darkness. As the knowledge of seasons cycles grew, People waited for that time when the pattern of darkness would reverse. Solacence was celebrated as a turning point, and in December, the longest night, after which the return of the light would, recur, would occur. With that would come the warmer days, the rebirth of crops and livestock, and a somewhat easier existence. As Christianity spread, Advent became our period of waiting for a light a time when we remember our own spiritual darkness. Christmas Eve became that turning point, the longest night, after which Christ would bring his light into the world and with it, the renewal of life. The moment when our lives are often the bleakest, in the grip of spiritual nighttime. The morning star heralds the coming of the dawn and a new day of rebirth. How brightly beams the morning star that suddenly radiates from afar. Brightness of God that breaks our night and fills our darkest souls with light. Sing then, ring then, tell the story of his glory till his praises flood with light, with light, earth's darkest places. I know you'll want to make a note of being here in worship on December the 10th for the Morning Star Cantata, presented by our choir. In the meantime, have a wonderful week. I'll see you in church.